Hello. Back for some relaxing live blitz to see if I can get my rating up just a bit. Okay, we'll go D4, playing somebody from America or from the United States of America, I should say. Um, interesting opening is this real non threatening this and this, and I may be doing quite well. I may be doing quite well. I did grab a pawn there, and oh. That's interesting, but I think maybe this check could be quite good. So, yeah, I'm uploading a lot of material recently. Um, basically, uh, the truth is that um, I don't have that much to do in my little company. So... I have some free time that I would normally spend uh, editing in the evenings, editing the videos for my video production company. Um, but since I don't really have that many assignments, I can make some ASMR for you guys and um, can we uh, can we get some somewhere because that king is not doing that king is not all right in serious trouble so we will try to isolate him try not to lose our queen of course um, so what we don't want we don't want the king to to get back here but I'm not sure we can actually I'm not sure if we can actually accomplish that so um just develop some stuff um i am threatening this check i'm threatening this check um, just go here i don't think he has too much of an attack going on he is threatening that check is that dangerous i don't know check try to get in go check can we I'll go there okay I only have 13 seconds so um, let's see what we can or cannot accomplish here I can probably get somewhere at least because I, I do pick up all this material um, and I'm not sure if he has like a deadly follow up here I only have left that much time so trying to ask this one to go away then here, then here, go check, here, I'm trying to capture this guy, and yeah, can we get a checkmate like this, we can, alright, that was 
pretty satisfying. Okay, let's see if we can play a little better. Okay, this. Are you sure he must be moving too fast? He should have captured that pawn. That's the Budapest defense. Now I already have quite a nice advantage. And this doesn't work because I capture here. Throw the check. Capture the bishop. And this position is really good. I go here, threatening stuff on f2. And yeah, probably I'm doing quite well. Uh, so what's the correct move here? Throw the check and then maybe this check. It looks pretty good because he has to go there so I can capture the bishop right and maybe, okay, now I'll just take the queen. And I'll capture that, and I'm just up a bunch of material, and should be winning comfortably. So, let's see if we can actually win comfortably without losing on time. Um, So I'm threatening two pieces, uh, and I'll capture that one. Now I'm up quite a lot of material. Threaten two. He's threatening that thing. So I'll protect that, I guess. I don't want to give him anything. Anything at all. Okay, actually I'll go over here with the king, protect this pawn, and uh, yeah, just try not to mess up too much, to be honest. Um, King, I could just have giving him a checkmate there. Could you please go back? <laughs> Can you go back here, please? No. Okay. Um, let's see if we can let's see if we can win. Threaten. Okay. So now we threaten. Good old checkmate on on a two again. Check. Check. And getting the checkmate. All right, let's play some more. That was that game was pretty sweet. Like I missed the obvious checkmate and my opponent basically um, committed Harry Curie from uh, the get-go, but I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it, you know. And now I'll just try and do a caveman style attack like this. Close up the center. I'll try to at least uh, exchange this bishop. Um, See if I can get my queen in there. So trying to just keep this stuff over here at his king side closed down. Mm. Yeah, he 
is threatening some stuff. That's a pretty good move. Um, but if it does capture here, so we open up for the rook to uh, attack on on f3, I can recapture with the knight protecting that square. So I think I think it's possible to or queen d2 protect the pawn with the queen. All right. But here I thought that I could Should I just capture that and then just run with the king? That was my first idea, and I think I'll do that, actually. Um, okay, he... That's interesting. He didn't... Oh, but maybe he couldn't just couldn't. I'm seeing ghosts. I'm protecting the square as well. So I'm still protecting the square. Capture like there. Protecting everything. Check. 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 13 seconds. Okay. Is this check really that dangerous? I guess we'll see. Okay, he takes here a check. I go there. He was there. I go there. Now I'm threatening his queen. So he has to probably capture there, but now I do get really, really, really strong attack going here. Check, there, check, 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 and that's mate. Okay, yeah, that was a nice game. Let's play a little more. All right, playing d4, just seeing, let's just see what happens. The Queen's Gambit, we have this uh, martial defense. I think knight f3 is the correct, and then I, th then you kick the knight. I can kick the knight already on move four, but I seem to have you know, that somebody somewhere for some reason said that this was the way to do it. I want to go here, but that's protected by the knight. So I want to dislocate that knight, actually. Go away, knight. Now I want to go here. Oh wow, is, am I going to be able to make some ferocious attack? Takes, check, takes, take, check with the knight. He goes, maybe, I can't resist this. Um, so he can't, yeah, he has to go there. And then I checkmate the queen. <laughs> That was fun. I think he had maybe to go to g8. Um, check. And 
ganz kurz. And now he wants to threaten some stuff here, but I mean I'm doing pretty well here. Um, got all these attacks against his, against his king. Um, can I, uh, if I chase the bishop away, then it will run out of squares pretty quickly, perhaps. has to go there, right, yeah, has to go there, attack again, and I just want to, basically my plan is to open up against this king, and I just want to use all these tempi uh, against the bishop push all the pawns and that's a check and he might be in pretty serious trouble now if he weren't already of course um, because the queen is good on the diagonal down here This opening he's doing is called. I am just trying to develop my pieces kind of sensibly. I'd like to get a knight there. And that could actually be possible if he does move the king. So I might be getting an attack now, might be getting some kind of attack now. Um, or not, or not, it's not exactly easy to get my pieces over there, it's a little annoying. Um, so how do I, do I just simplify this? I feel I need to just simplify this actually, make it a little easier to navigate and develop my pieces here. So try to clean this file. So I'll attack like that, I'll go here and get the pawn. Get the pawn, get the girl, get the second pawn and Maybe exchange a couple of rooks. Yeah, maybe I, I should just play more, you know, nice and easy. Because it seems to be working. Okay, the knight should leave. Knight goes 
there. If you go there, I'm trying to weave check mating sort of net against the king. I'm doing terrible on time, but And capture here. Is this a draw? Did maybe he had to try and go for the draw there? Because um, this is checkmate. Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's see if he wants to play again. He didn't play somebody else. Just throw some pieces off the board. Let's see. Does he play the Nimzo? He does the classical go for this Rubenstein well, that's not Rubenstein Don't know. develop sensibly to try to just keep everything under control Get rid of this pesky bishop. And let's make sure the structure is safe. And then castle. And I have two bishops. Feeling pretty good, I guess. I can put the bishop on b2. Here's he's threatening some stuff, lining the rook up with the queen, but I don't see exactly what kind of uh, I don't see exactly what kind of discovered thing he has he would be going for. Uh, that one is okay because he's not taking anything so it's more like a it's a fancy move but I'm not sure it does too much and I did get g5 in kind of for free so should we continue the march um, attacking knight can we just defend it maybe maybe we can just defend it and yeah so we'll try to basically make a caveman style attack and just um, just throw all these up there and see what see what sticks. be doing should I capture first capture takes takes check takes I think I'll do that actually not sure if it works but does 
this, this, this. He'll then he'll do two takes. I'll take two takes there. Go check. He goes. I don't know. I don't know. It looks fun. It looks fun. Check. Here, I go here, and maybe he'll go. Okay, yeah, it he's uh, he's just play night takes, but he didn't. But that would totally have. That would totally have worked. Now I have rook captures. Um, and yeah. This position is great. But uh, I do have some small issue with the time. With the time. Okay. Can I... Can I drive this pawn home? That's the whole. That's the whole question. Can I drive that pawn home? Will we get there? Will we get there? Now we're threatening. Check. And it's interesting. <laughs> Will we get there? Okay. So now we have a material advantage. And uh, now we just have to kind of get him on time. And get this one. Okay, actually we don't have a material advantage. Um, actually we are losing on material, but, uh, but we are winning on time. That was nice. A little, a little sort of race at the end there against the clock. And we get to play him again. So... to get his revenge oh is that a good move maybe it is maybe it's a real good move maybe I'm just getting sliced and diced over on the uh, dark squares now I'll play uh, h4 Obey h5. Okay, now I think I win a pawn. Like this. And... Is this a move? If... If that is a move, then... I'm probably doing all right because yeah okay he wants to so he wants to play g or g4 capture all my stuff um but maybe I can just Right away now, maybe attack this knight first, make him play, do that, make him play, uh, make him protect the knight, and then just get in with 
this night here and then the queen protects so I'm threatening checkmate actually and so I think his plan was a little bit too slow maybe yeah okay so my idea was check then he has to go here and then this is right so okay I can still occasionally still occasionally play a game of chess that makes sense this is the England gambit um, so it's really tricky um, all this is theory and he'll capture here and then it's very important that you don't go here it looks nice but it loses to bishop here instead you go there he'll pay, put his knight on b4 this attacks c2 and you defend it with knight here and that's basically when the game is theoretically over for for black but um but it splits so you know everything can happen there with knight and um, yeah okay so I think I'll try to get this queen out of the way then I will probably Try something like attacking the queen. She has to go, she has to defend that square. And now I'm thinking, do I have something interesting? Like, can I go here, for instance? That would be a really sweet move can't capture with the knight because it's pinned to the to the queen by the bishop he can't capture the other knight like he can't capture the knight on b5 because i win his queen here i think i'll do that i mean uh, that looks really sweet it looks like it's just punishing uh, punishing him and I mean, even if he finds a way to define, defend all this stuff, I'm also just kind of threatening to capture. Okay, I get the queen. Like this. And threaten some more stuff. Threatening this check. And I think should be able to win this i am not down on time um now of course i have to protect the knight is this check interesting it's not working it's not really not really working how about the other check not really working either so I'll just do this uh, sort of renewing the threat of capturing on f7 so I guess he'll capture like that or capture like this and yeah, the knight really needs That was a nice, uh, <laughs> was a nice little checkmate there. Um, yeah, don't. I mean, the the inkling game, but that he played in this game. Can I can show you? I can show you the idea. So it's something you play against d4, and I play d4 all the time. So I've seen this many times, and I mean just on principle. If you just look at this move, if if black could play this move, then the 
then everything we know about chess would kind of not be true. Like if, if black could really play this move and it was a sound move, I mean, then he would play that move on in every <laughs> in every game. Okay, so you capture. That's the first thing because black must be punished for his indolence, his arrogance in playing this move. And then the uh, pawn is attacked by the knight. You defend. You can also defend with the knight first. It doesn't really matter. You defend the pawn. It's your pawn. He attacks again with the queen, breaking the principle of chess. You should move your queen too early without a very good reason. This is not a very good reason. You would defend again. And here he does this. And he threatens the bishop. And he threatens b2. So what you do is you say, okay, I don't long, no longer care about the pawn. I'll just win a lot of tempi against your queen. You drop the bishop back, block the check. The bishop is now defended. And he goes and captures here. Now, if you're white, it can look really nice to do this because it's sort of a circle going on. The knight protects the bishop, the bishop protects the rook, the rook protects the knight. So they go around in a circle, utilizing like the special properties of each piece's pattern of movement. But in this position, there is this move. And now you cannot capture the queen, because you're pinned. So do you do? Well, you put your queen here, and then there's this checkmate. Captures, and you think I'll just recapture, and I have the whole same same thing going on. And then you get hit with this. And that's checkmate. So that's really dirty, and that's not what you want. So you don't do that. Instead, you go here. He will then hit you with this. Um because uh, let's say you try something like this, attacking the queen. Well, then this is really embarrassing. King cannot move. You have to capture this only legal move, and then you lose the queen. So instead, you just defend c2 with the, with the knight, and now he is really in serious trouble because now there is not there's not really any more tricks i guess he'll try like in in the game he tried to kick the knight with the bishop you can also because you want this knight gone so you can attack c2 but and you can also try and kick the knight with the the pawn but the thing is that now you say here oh excuse me let's say here but now you can pick up all these tempi against the queen because she has so little so few places to go and um yeah and here you are threatening this check and uh yeah i was really happy to find this move in the game that's uh that's kind of sweet so uh, the difference wasn't in our game the bishop was here instead of the instead of the pawn but it's uh, it's the same kind of thing so you cannot capture here queen goes doesn't work you cannot capture here because this check picks up the queen so the knights are both immune um, and you have no, you don't really have a way to protect this square. So black's basically toast here. Well, let's go out and have a game. And uh, I was hoping he would play c4, then I could play the uh, Budapest Gambit which is sort of utilizing some of the same ideas as the Inkling Gambit you saw in the last game, but the uh, Budapest Gambit is 
sound, at least kind of sound. It's the kind of thing you'll see grandmasters play occasionally. Am I? Is this good? I'll try it out. Tagging the rogue over here. It could be good. Uh -huh. Okay, so I do get the rook. So that's the uh, that's the exchange I got there. Uh, I'll try and simplify a little bit and get the bishop back. And okay, is there a way? Is there a way? I can get my queen into the attack. I'm not sure I'll try. Get her out on the dark squares. A little annoyed that the bishop is then blocked, but maybe I can do something with b6 and I'll try that now actually before I show my intention with the queen. Yeah, because now, now the bishop has to move. Okay. I'll unmove it. I could consider playing this, but I am ahead in material, so I don't want to don't want to spend too much energy uh, I don't want to spend too much energy when I don't need to so will he go there he was not going to go there but I'm this may be good for me now. So I have this check. And I think this position is close to winning. I can feel actually that my chess vision is getting better when I play these games. All right, so I thought I'll capture that and then attack like this and okay, not completely sure how to proceed. This can't be dub like just dominating this file can't be. Disaster. I'm not 100% sure how to proceed. Just play some quick moves here because he is sort of in a bind. Where do I put my bishop? Okay, I have a plan now. I want to attack the knight with the bishop. So I played uh, a5, so I can go here, here, attack. Um, and I think, I think that, that I'm doing really well because basically he has so few moves. Okay, but he did find a way to sort of But then I have a new plan. So he defended those squares. He saw my plan. But now my plan is to put my rook here. And l by leaving the back rank, I do, of course, kind of... Kind of expose myself a little bit, I guess. Um, so I could also just use the fact that, okay, huh. 
how about just taking that, making this double attack, and then attacking like this, and capturing, and maybe threatening here, and going to capture this pawn, and waiting on time, but also on position. Okay. Oh, he's uh, pre-moving a lot here. Okay, he wants to play again. I'll play him. Let's see what's going on. That's a weird opening. It's called apparently the Horwitz defense. This is not real chess. This looks bizarre. I think he's just a little annoyed that he lost. Um. Should I? I'll actually just keep developing my pieces because I'm not actually sure what his plan is here. And I think maybe his plan is to castle along. Nope, it wasn't. Then I think I'd like to do something like this. And can I go here? Can I capture like this? Check. He captures. I go check. He takes. I throw the check. He goes back. I take. I mean. I'll try it. It's probably not very good. It just it just feels nice to Oh, of course I cannot throw that check. I have to take here. Uh because he could go back with the bishop and block. So I have to do it like this first. And And I move this maybe pretty terrible, but I do have I do have some attack going. Try to get the knight involved. I don't think he wants to take the d4 pawn because then my bishop will be monster okay then getting the knight involved so my problem is that I don't really have any threats <laughs> Um, that's my problem. If he takes the knight, fine. I'll get him on the dark squares. Okay, I'll get you on the dark squares, guy. Uh, or you can just walk. Right out. So what's the correct way? Queen, then queen. That must be the right way, right? Or check. Goes back. I think this is correct. Check. Check. And here. So the idea is I want to get him on the dark squares. But of course he does have this defense, which I completely missed. Which I completely missed and really counted like the amount of pieces I have counted that completely wrong. This is that was <laughs> key. Okay, one one. Let's see if we can get him in not the Budapest defense. Okay, this guy is too strong then. I shouldn't just uh 
randomly sacrifice my bishop. Um, so I'm trying to just uh, develop pretty sensibly now and be a little bit conservative. A little bit conservative here. So, will he try and kick? Nope, that was not what he wanted. So, I may be able to. May be able to attack his king now. Oh. Okay, not really so I'll try for another attack on the king. Maybe I'll try and grab the pawn. Nope, no such luck. He'll capture like this with a knight. Nope, he didn't. I mean, that's a big mistake because this is check. And I'll take the bishop now. He should absolutely have captured with the uh, with the knight. Now I am. Now I do get the attack. Start with the check. Attacking the this this is going this is over now. Um, or is it? Check he goes there. Then I get to play a fancy move. We all love playing fancy moves. Um, check. So he can't capture because of the bishop, that's why it's a fancy move, and I was kind of hoping that was checkmate, but it's not. This is nice though. Or is it? Not completely sure. There. The wrong idea was I would just was just going to take that. And then he goes there. And then I thought this was good. Check. I think this is this is probably more than enough to win. I have a minute left. No reason to sacrifice all kinds of fish helps for no reason. Uh, just wait and let him let him uh, commit all the mistakes, just capitalize on those and win the game. So just simplify. And okay, 45 seconds. Then probably I should try and get the last rook off. Check. So maybe I am. Okay, so the idea was that he could go for this past pawn, but he was walking into this mating. Net. That was why I played that. So the last game, just go for something not too complicated. Here we put the bishop out. Let's see if he. 
What's the castle? Doesn't seem like it. Um, our castle then. Uh, do we want to just catch you? Maybe. Trying to get a big center. This check is something. What this check? This check is better. It's no real good way to block that, to be honest. So. Okay, so I thought that this was sort of winning the piece, but maybe that's wrong. Maybe you can just defend the queen. But I think I will take one of the knight. Oh, he can take like that. That was clever. So I, in reality, I only get a pawn for all this, all my troubles. Um. But a pawn is a pawn is a pawn. It's a pawn is a pawn. So I think I think we are doing quite all right. Some pressure on this bad boy, and yeah, up two pawns now. And this knight is really good. Good night in the center. And I hope, of course, you also have a good night. If you are watching this at night, maybe trying to sleep. Um, maybe doubling the rooks like this. I shouldn't lose on time now. Shouldn't lose some time. I have one minute, which is pretty good. And I'll see if I can get this knight to do something. So I'm thinking something like uh, pushing this pawn to make this knight more effective. Um, something like that. Queen protects the bishop. Bishop protects the pawn. Rooks protect each other. Bishop protects this pawn. Okay. And is him like this? Or like this. I think like this. It's not completely clear to me. But of course, uh, this pin on the queen. Um, yeah, that doesn't work. Um, yes. I said that was the last one. We'll take this is the last one. And yes, exactly what I was hoping for. So I had the games with the England Gambit. This is the Budapest Gambit. And this one actually works, kind of. And because it's the last game, I will sacrifice here. No, I won't. I'm not going to sacrifice there. I've been sacrificing too many bishops for dubious compensation lately, but now I will. I think you saw this trick earlier. 
I go, is this better or is this better? This feels better, but he can sort of attack the knight there. So I will do this. And, um, Check. Thread and check again. I'm not sure I actually want to play the check. Maybe I want to play the uh, knight. There to attack the rook. Maybe I even want to push that pawn all the way. I think actually that's what I want to do. I think that is what I want to do. So he has to protect the knight. Oh yeah, he should have protected. Well, that was, he had to go somewhere where he was protecting the knight, because now it's not so good. I will maybe... Yeah, his, his position is very dubious now. Um, try to get in with some more stuff. He cannot capture the knight, uh, crucially, and da, 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 da. so I shouldn't lose on time, that would be, that would be an unfortunate um, I think I'll castle actually just to sort of avoid any sort of funny funny stuff happening above all this material probably I had some something far better but this are yeah it's the last game so I wanna win and and this is sort of an easy way of doing it mm, I think <laughs> maybe not um I kinda wanna protect this Pawn. I have to play some moves kind of fast now. So, of course, you can capture here, but I think that's kind of okay. And I hope that he will get off this square down here. He didn't want to do that. Um, so, maybe we'll just have some exchanges here. Sort of attacking these two pawns. Um, also, blundering mate. Wow, that was not very good. That was not very good. Now I have to win this last game on time. Um, that's kind of terrible.
is he doing? He's trying to win on time. We are no absolutely not going to let him win on time. So that was a little checkmate. Yeah. So we were just playing some chess there, and I kind of, at some point during the session, I felt that I was getting my vision back and getting back into that old level of playing. Where now I'm just playing on, you know, intuition and it's not really fine tuned at all. I'm not really seeing too much, but sometimes I can kind of get some clarity. And so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more chess, uh, chess stuff. Love all you guys.